กวยจกอองจุมแดบกรรมโตกจำนาการในทีสานากาสานาการในทางนี้อองจำนาการสานากรรมโตสดับสักไกรรมเนจำเนียงโมริสกลางจีสานากาลูกไอ้หอยนางรีกาบีทันพิบวัตเมียนอวัตเมียนพิกีนบกโกลได้อองจำนาการก่อนเชื่อในโจรวมในขนมกันจำนาการสานากาทางนี้สูงครุบลุกเทียนสำหรับสานากาทางนี้กลางจีกอดสมกอลคืนท้ากรุบเพียกีแตงอ้อในเรื่องใดนี่มีนวัตเมียนโดยไล่เรื่องบุญชีมีนวัตเมียนลงบรรทุกคงครูนแข่งกรอมสาวสัปนาการนี้โดยโลกนาสมและบองสุดมีนวัตเมียนอุตลปีบรรทุกสัปนาการในทางใดดีดิขัดและบองสุดรบลุบุญชีบ้านประกอบดอลกลามชีรุชัยในจุดนี้ได้หนึ่งตรงดอลสกายกัมในทางใดนี่คือโลกสตีเฟนมอริสโลกมีนวัตเมียนรุชัยในขนมบรรทุกสัปนาการนี้สมกุลุกเทียนบ่าวคุณที่ตะบงที่อังยิมเรศสำหรับเดินสำนาส้มระบบจนจอบจอดนุ่นที่ยิมบนสันอังยิมเรศบานตัวลิขิตส้มเรศบังสุดโจรวมขนมสามนาการได้ตัวขนมบุตรสามนาการนี้บ่าวจนจอบจอดนุ่นชี้จอดทั้งไงจีดับบุญใครตุลาชนาบีบอลดับบุญมุ้ยได้บานมาเจาะทาได้ก่อนมีปัญหาสุขเพียบชีกบาชื่อจงแก้มันอะไรอย่างกุยยูบ้านมันอาจพิจองอารมณ์บรรยุนังดำไปเมียนตัดเพียบโจรวมสามนาการในใครขังมกอเมียนบุตรสุขเพียบครวนทำเรศบังสุดโจรวมหนึ่งมีบัตรเมียนได้ตัวขนมบุตรสามนาการเลือกงานที่ดับผมวุ่นไข่ตุลาชนาบีบอลดับผมมวยมันเคยกำหนดให้เป็นนักทุกพิพิธภัณฑ์จอบจอดหนุ่มเชี่ยวเดือดเปลืองได้กรุเปิดประจำก้าปีนัดเพียบาไทยตอมทุกพิพิธภัณฑ์จอบจอดเนื้ออบตกจอบทั้งไงที่ดับผมวุ่นไข่ตุลาชนาบีบอลดับผมมวยมันก็ทำกอปีสถานพิพิธภัณฑ์สกปรกประพันธ์ลงนุ่นเชี่ยวเดือดไทยนี่ทำเป็นอากาศชื่อจังเกะชื่อขนงรำไรอังกุยยูมันบานหนึ่งบานพอดอลอนุสซาท่าสมัยอังยิมเรียอันยาไอลูกนุ่นเชี่ยวโจรวมตามนานกันจำนาคาสัมนาคาปีมันตุ้มมวยทัดกรอมซาสัตมการนี้ไอเดือมุลธานนี้นึงยงตามมาบัญญัติในประเทศไปเติมมวยปรามในประเทศไต้ขนองอบตกอองจำเนื้ออันยาไอจุนจุบจอดนุ่นเชี่ยวโจรวมนุ่นตามนานกันจำนาคาสัมนาคาปีจังไงปีมันตุ้มคุมครวนมวยทัดกรอมซาสัมการนี้ตามเยาวกอสตุ้มสัมยาเปียเปียสัมนาคาเป็นมวยไทยนี้ประกอบไอบกลึกในทอตุ้มจบประปอนทอตุ้มสำหรับจุนจุบจอดนุ่นเชี่ยวไอโจรวมนึงตามนานกันจำนาคาสัมนาคาปีจังไงทำรองเป็นในกันจำนาคาสัมนาคาสำหรับไทยนี้เพื่อต่อตอนนี้เราจะการจุนตัวเมตวีกาเปียกระไดดูเอ็นนุ่นเชี่ยคือดูเมตวีเป็นจักรกบีดำไปมันโตกระตังสมบูรณ์ดาวจะปวดสะใส Thank you Mr President เมตวีกบีส่งออกคนลงประเทศ Mr Morris จุดสุดลงลงสไลด์เจ้าพร้อมสักการ์ดจะออกจุดสุดลงจำเนียง There's one follow-up question uh, in relation to your testimony. Uh, uh, yesterday that I would like to ask, um, we have a draft transcript uh, from yesterday's proceedings. And in relation to your question from me about uh, Lady Father Sihanouk, Uh, you said at around 15-25 uh, in the afternoon, um, and a bit further, uh, around 15-28, uh, following, let me read it back to you, uh, you said, uh, and I think that he, the King Father Sihanouk, was somebody who acted very rationally. And with very careful judgment about what was in the best interest of Cambodian Indians. And you said, uh, but the late King Father made it very clear that Cambodia had to live with him, that it had to accept his reality, the existence of Vietnam to the east, and to try to pursue policies that might encourage a more progressive Vietnamese policy. I think that's what you said yesterday. This is what you said um, um, yesterday. Um, now, uh, Mr. Morris, um, I briefly mentioned um, Ben Sihanouk's speech um, on the 11th of January before the Security Council um, of the United Nations. Um, I will not 
quote his full speech, but um, a few things that he said, for instance, in his document, um, English ERN 0100-1643, and Mr. President, um, all paragraphs of the speech are the same in French and Khmer, so I will be referring to all the paragraphs of that UN document. Um, for instance, in paragraph 75, um, he compares um, uh, Vietnam and uh, Cambodia to Vietnam and Cambodia. A boa constrictor. Let, let, let me read it fully. Um, but on the very morrow of the final victory in April 75, a victory over imperialism, in the wake of the unification of the two Vietnams, North and South, the Socialist Republic of Vietnam decided, cold bloodedly, to embark upon a very special operation. ប្រកាសចិត្តនៅក្នុងកថាខាងចិត្តសម្រាប់ខ្លួនព្រះអង្គព្រៀបភាពការឆ្លៀតទីរបស់ <coughs> 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 Are you aware of the things he said during the press conference uh, to the international press? Uh, no, I do not recall what he said at that time. Um, there he actually uh, answered the questions as to um, uh, the policy of DK, and and the, um, uh, DK's position and reaction toward Vietnam um, was appropriate. He said, um, let me first ask, is it, is it correct to say that China in 1979 and before were the um, protectors or, or patrons of the that they were very well uh, Yes, that would be correct. So, so this is what he said uh, among other things. Uh, Sorry, um, um, I just uh, talked with the legal officer. There is no entry number yet. Uh, he sent an email this morning. He has admitted this document. Uh, um, last week, it's now English URN 013394 and um, provisionally it's called E435.1.8. He said um, the following, uh, you have a very clear, very ominous example of naked aggression in one country against another without any They cannot turn Kampuchea into a colony of Vietnam. Uh, Vietnamese are a satellite state of Russia. How can you be sure that the Vietnamese and Russians will be satisfied with the swallowing of Kampuchea? The French saying goes, the more one eats, the better one's appetite. After swallowing Kampuchea, the appetite of the Russians, the Warsaw Pact, and the Vietnamese they they Thailand. Thailand. swallowing Thailand, they will swallow Singapore. Then he says, and that's important. Um, 
when he talks about Pol Pot, he said, um, I do not agree with his internal policy, uh, but his external policy is good, because Pol Pot is a patriot. His determination to defend the territorial integrity, national dignity, and national independence is good. Long excerpts, but um, would you agree with me that there is really no difference in Sihanouk's position before the invasion and, and no difference between his position and the DK's position in terms of the Vietnam invasion? Uh, it would appear so on the basis of that statement. Uh, however, I would say that um, uh, there was a common interest in repelling the Vietnamese invasion at that time. And and so, uh, I would s suggest that um, differences that existed may have been uh, papered over because of the common interest. Um, I would like to follow up on that, but I, I will not because of the time. Uh, let me move now to my, uh, my next subject, uh, Mr. Morris. Uh, and that is something that uh, we could also debate uh, for the whole day, but we have to be very short on this. And that's um, um, Vietnam's or the, uh, the Communist Party of Vietnam's ideology because of time's sake, I would like to Nói move immediately to um, um, the period of temporal jurisdiction of, of the court. Um, you have quoted in your book um, Nguyen who said that there was a clear victory for the pro-Soviet um, faction already uh, in 1974. However, you also mentioned in your book um, the fourth uh, Congress of the Vietnamese Communist Party, Communist Party in 1976. Um, could you describe Vietnam's position uh, to the Soviet Union after um, the fourth Congress in 1976? Sorry, sorry. Uh, I would say that the uh, Vietnamese position was uh, that the Soviet Union had the correct line in the international communist movement, and uh, that Vietnam felt that it was correct to follow the Soviet position, and <clears throat> moreover, uh, it felt that the Soviet Union was a supporter and protector of Vietnamese interests vis-à-vis -vis China. Um, and that, uh, therefore, uh, it was right and uh, necessary for Vietnam to follow the Soviet line on international affairs and further develop its relations with the Soviet Union. Uh, thank you, that's, that's clear. Um, would you agree with... Um, uh, President Carter's uh, national security advisor at the time, uh, Zbigniew Brzezinski, uh, who called Vietnam, uh, as, as related in Nayan Chanda, uh, a Soviet surrogate or a Soviet proxy. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Juste une, 
une requête en ce début d'audience, c'est notre confrère qui peut systématiquement citer les pages du ERN de livre de Monsieur Maurice ou des autres sources auxquelles il fait référence. Cela permettrait à tout le monde de suivre va assez vite quand il cite des sources. Donc si vous pouvez le rappeler, M. le Président, de systématiquement citer le ERN ou la page de l'ouvrage Maurice et les autres sources auxquelles il fait référence lors de ses questions. ดอสรองนําไปมาสู่จํานวนเนาะอ่าโน้ตพรอบเลยมิสเตอร์มิสเตอร์เพรสิดิสกีในบ้านเอ่อ which is um, French ERN 0019 ខ្មែរខ្មែរ I would say that this was a little bit uh, overstated by uh, Dr. Brzezinski. Um, you must recall that uh, he was holding an office in the counter administration at that time, and uh, his judgments were in part reflection of the political situation and America's position at that time. My view is that uh, the Vietnamese were making their own policy uh, towards Cambodia and uh, China, and that the Soviet Union was supporting Vietnam. Um, and uh, therefore, uh, I would look at the initiative as being primarily Vietnamese in what they were doing with regard to Cambodia and China, rather than the initiative being the Soviet. But nevertheless, the Soviets supported Vietnam. Um, let me move on quickly, uh, although I have some other questions by which I might uh, reserve for later. Um, there is one particular uh, key moment in um, communist history, which uh, is extremely important, which you say yourself as well, um, and that is um, the uh, uh, Soviet invasion in uh, Czechoslovakia in 1968. you called uh, the 1968 invasion uh, of Czechoslovakia had a quite landmark event in international relations, and particularly in international communist relations. Uh, could you explain to the general why that is? Uh, I think that the Soviet invasion of Czechoslovakia in 1968 was a landmark event in international relations and international communist relations because it made clear that the Soviet Union would not tolerate uh, a domestic uh, policy uh, reorienting itself away from the Soviet model. Uh, and uh, potentially reorienting itself away from the Soviet bloc. Uh, 
the Vietnamese supported the Soviet position on Czechoslovakia in 1968, uh, including the rationale of the Soviet invasion. Um, the reason I'm discussing Czechoslovakia uh, is twofold. One, because the internal DK policies, uh, especially by Son Sen, Czechoslovakia is uh, very important to me. I will get back to that. Um, but let me concentrate first now on something uh, my Chanda has said in his book. Uh, that is uh, zero zero one nine um, uh, two four zero one, and um, in English, uh, in French here, and that's zero zero two three seven zero eight zero one zero zero one nine zero zero one nine five eight zero. Let me read it to you. Um, in late 1978, sorry, I don't think we got the English. All right, I didn't hear it. Yes, I, I just mentioned it. It's zero zero nine one nine two four zero one. Page two hundred and sixteen of his book. Uh, so this is what Chandra writes. In late January 1978, General uh, Grigory Pavlovsky, Commander-in-Chief of the Soviet Armed Forces, arrived in neighboring Laos in a special airflow jetliner for a friendly visit. The Vietnamese Minister of Defense, General Vong Yen Yap, uh, Vieng Sai in northern Chị Laos for an unpublicized meeting with the Soviet general during the Soviet Cambodian situation. Pavlovsky advice the Vietnamese official told me years later was to a Czechoslovakia. It goes on to uh, uh, describing Yap's reaction. But, but um, Soviet advice to Vietnamese um, a Soviet man, uh, communist party leaders, um, um, do a was there something that you found as well, uh, or did you find evidence in the Soviet archives confirming this Soviet advice to Vietnam? Uh, Soviet uh, Soviet uh, Soviet uh, uh, Soviet uh, uh, no, it's not uh, something that I found evidence of in the Soviet archives, which uh, doesn't mean it wasn't uh, the case. Uh, it's just that the documents that I had access to uh, did not uh, reveal such advice. Um, thank you for that but is it correct that in your book, um, 0100 you quote um, Thuran Thuran Quyen, um, according to you, was a member of the Central Committee of the Vietnamese Party. Um, he said, and you, 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 in your book you write, he contrasted Cambodia in 1978 with Czechoslovakia in 1968. In Czechoslovakia, the had the revolutionary power. And that is why uh, bringing in outside forces was necessary. Um, this is quote from um, this Kuyen in 78. Does that quote confirm Russian advice uh, to do a Czechoslovakia Czechoslovakia? Um, 
I do recall that uh, quote. I'm not quite sure the implications of it. Uh, I think it was uh, needed to be um, fleshed out a little bit more, the argument that he was trying to make. Um, uh, one very last question on Vietnamese ideology. I'm going to move on to my next subject. Uh, in your book, uh, 0100, uh, you say that the Vietnamese consistently uh, defended Stalin all the way up until 1979. Uh, is that true? And, and can you explain why that was? Uh, Yes, it's true, uh, and as to why it was is an interesting question. Um, <coughs> I think that the um, Vietnamese communists celebrated the Communist International, uh, the Comintern, um, as a great period in the history of the communist movement. And Stalin was the head of, not the official head of the Comintern, but it, the de facto leader of the Comintern during most of its life. Um, it was the Comintern which created the Vietnamese Communist Party, and it was Stalin who um, more or less was the, 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 the most revered leader of uh, international uh, communism at the uh, time in which the Vietnamese Communist Party had later renamed the Indo-Chinese uh, Communist Party was formed. Uh, I think that um, the, the the Vietnamese communists believe that uh, Stalin had created a unified international communist movement uh, and that he did not tolerate uh, divergency, uh, he did not tolerate um, independence, and um, therefore uh, he was a model uh, for the development of the communist movement in the time subsequent to his death. Um, the Vietnamese were very unhappy with what we used to call police centrism in the communist world. The Vietnamese were unhappy with different centers of power in the communist world, and uh, they wanted to see, as Ho Chi Minh said uh, just before he died, that uh, the, the reunification of all the communist parties uh, is one of my most cherished hopes. What one, one follow-up? Um, isn't it correct that even in 1979, uh, after they uh, uh, celebrating, I believe, the 100th birthday of Stalin, they still um, argued that Stalin's policies were correct. Yes, uh, they still argued that Stalin's policies were correct, and as far as I'm aware, that continued into the 1980s. And is it then also correct to say that there was no necessity to do so, because I believe Hungarians or Czechs took a totally different position from Stalin, even the Soviets themselves? Yes, that is correct. Um, there was no political necessity in terms of the national interests of Vietnam or the, 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 the security uh, interests of the Vietnamese Communist Party to be celebrating Stalin, Stalinism, and the international communist movement under Stalin. Uh, I think uh, the celebration of Stalin and the international communist movement reflects the true ideological beliefs of the Vietnamese communist leadership. We briefly touched upon it yesterday um, about um, uh, when we were talking about the, the Vietnamese uh, perspective of, of Khmer. Um, uh, also in your book uh, on 010. Um, um, 
1692, we talked about the uh, quote-unquote cultural arrogance of the Vietnamese uh, and the uh, quote-unquote profound contempt for the culture uh, of Cambodia and the Vietnamese being highly patronizing uh, towards the Cambodians. Uh, what's interesting is that um, in Chanda and, and uh, Philip Short, for instance, we see the, the same things. But let me move away from the, the cultural arrogance and, and contempt for the culture of Cambodia to other um, um, well, quote unquote, characteristics <laughs> of uh, Vietnamese <laughs> leaders. I'm not interested in what the average Vietnamese person would say, but I'm interested in <laughs> what um, uh, Lu Duan and Lu Duan and others would think. Words that I have um, written down reading Chanda and Short and others are the following words. Uh, so they're not mine. Um, calling um, the Vietnamese in the foreign policy um, arrogant, deceitful, condescending, untrustworthy. And I'm particularly interested in the words deceitful and untrustworthy. untrustworthy. Um, have seen in the Soviet archives, if I understand correctly, um, Soviet Union complaints, um, diplomats in Hanoi complaints about um, deceitful behavior of the Vietnamese in, I believe, 1972. Can, can you expand a bit on this? And while he is waiting, since you yourself said you are quoting somebody, please give us the references. Um, um, certainly, um, the expert in um, talking about um, the expert is talking about untrustworthy. Vietnamese, uh, Vietnamese on 0100186 and 0100187 Chanda is talking, uh, just give the English here, and uh, on 0019-2588 about uh, Americans being suspicious about the quote unquote tricky Vietnamese. Um, um, the other quotes on high patronizing I just mentioned. Um, I believe the, uh, the expert in his book refers to uh, on page 01001720 to um, uh, Henry Kissinger noticing the condescending cynical attitude of Le Duc Tho and also Short uh, goes on about this. But let me refer basically to, that's what I'm interested in, um, is the explanation of what the Soviets uh, meant when they called the Vietnamese deceitful. Uh, when the Soviets referred to the Vietnamese as deceitful, they were referring to the fact that the Vietnamese did not share their strategic plans with the Soviet Union, that they accepted Soviet assistance willingly, gladly, uh, but did not reveal always what that assistance was going to be used for precisely. And, uh, the, one of these statements came in the context of the planning of the, what was called the Easter Offensive in Vietnam in 1972, <coughs> when the Soviet Union, or at least when Vietnam was planning the biggest offensive of the Vietnam War against South Vietnam, back by the United States. Uh, a major uh, Soviet delegation came to Hanoi uh, to negotiate for the Soviet aid. Uh, and yet, uh, the Vietnamese did not reveal that their initiation of the Easter Offensive was imminent. Uh, this uh, upset the Soviets and uh, the ambassador, uh, I believe, talks about this. 
That is the Soviet uh, ambassador to North Vietnam. Talks about it in his annual report. Uh, um, uh, and uh, he's been uh, 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 Following up on this, uh, I can't even show my thought that the from you, but it's from China. As I just uh, uh, mentioned, some round about location, some round about the young China. Are you in a position to tell us why uh, 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 the Americans had a way bunch here? I'm presumably related, uh, referring to the uh, Paris 73 negotiations. Can you give a big at your charge? And I'm just a way now, Paris. Had a way bunch of America, had a way bunch of America, Vietnam, Mila Bakal. Uh, I think that uh, the, uh, the, the Americans were upset that the Vietnamese would often uh, make public statements and uh, take political initiatives in front of the press uh, at a time without, without forewarning the United States uh, to try and create some kind of uh, fait accompli in negotiations uh, to reveal some uh, secret discussions. Um, and uh, therefore the Americans were upset that um, the, um, that the Vietnamese communists would not follow the normal agreed rules of the game in negotiations, secret negotiations. Um, um, following up on this, um, of course, what's also very interesting is uh, the Chinese perspective um, on the Vietnamese. Yesterday, I mentioned um, Deng Xiaoping. Uh, could you explain to the chamber uh, what kind of um, Chinese leader uh, Deng Xiaoping was. How, how should we view Deng Xiaoping in terms of foreign policy? I think Deng Xiaoping was a, a Chinese uh, nationalist uh, and a, a pragmatist uh, uh, who wanted to reorient Chinese foreign policy uh, in a way that would guarantee Chinese security against what was perceived as a Soviet threat to China, a Soviet threat of encirclement of China, uh, uh, partly through Vietnam uh, and the creation of bases, of course, in Vietnam, which would be considered a security threat to China. Uh, I think that uh, at this time, uh, Deng Xiaoping was um, very open to uh, new alliances, uh, new relationships in international politics, uh, which is why he forged a close relationship with the United States in the late 1970s. Um, is it correct that um, in the recent Soviet time, a very positive characterization of Deng Xiaoping by those who were the one? Yes, I, I, it's, sorry, to be quite honest, I've, uh, it's, it's just a, v a vague memory the, of that part of the uh, research. I, I will find you exact uh, quote for you. Um, why I, I refer to this is um, on the one hand, um, the Vietnam, at least, uh, Vietnam a very positive idea of the practice of uh, um, I would like to read to you an excerpt from Deng Xiaoping and Deng Xiaoping 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 
ហើយខ្ញុំសំដោះស្រង់អ៊ីរ៉ូនីគឺជាចាំបតើគឺ his hatred for the Vietnamese was visible. Of Vietnam, how got the tune and called the Vietnamese dogs. How Vietnam touch Kai, Kai. The Vietnamese then announced at a press conference in November 1988 the hooligans of the East. Um, could you hear your reaction to what this time the uh, Are you asking me uh, my reaction to the description of Deng Xiaoping? Well, let me be more uh, was this the school hate of the Vietnamese uh, something something or was this shared or was this shared the Chinese government? I think the Chinese leadership in general was very, very angry with the Vietnamese because of the fact that China had provided an enormous amount of assistance to the Vietnamese Communist Party in its quest Vietnam to uh, take control of South Vietnam uh, and that um, this ingratitude uh, probably was pervasive in the Chinese leadership the, or at least, sorry, the, the this perception of Vietnamese ingratitude towards China was pervasive amongst the Chinese leadership. I think Deng Xiaoping was merely reflecting what most Chinese leaders would have felt, um, particularly because um, Vietnam could have maintained a neutral position between the Soviet Union and China and instead chose to uh, orient itself towards the Soviet Union, which was China's principal security threat at that time. So uh, I would say that uh, the Chinese reaction was understandable. Uh, thank you. Uh, Mr. Morris, I will move on the most important um, subject. Um, and that is the question um, whether um, the imperial ambitions that we spoke about yesterday and the desire to create a Chinese Federation, um, whether these ambitions were in fact implemented in and if yes, um, I mean, I'll be asking you questions in relation to broader imperial jurisdictions. Um, uh, having read um, your book, um, John Dow, uh, and John Dow, uh, I have um, been able, I think, to distinguish the um, methods of um, implementation of um, this policy. I have written down as um, coming from you នៅអ្វីដែលលោកបានសរសេរគឺការបង្កើតការគ្រប់គ្រងយោបាយអត្ថពលយោបាយទៅលើ Continuous encroachments into combined territory. Also, DK forces. Um, 
removing uh, Pol Pot from power Mùi tiết cư đo đua đồng lâm Pol Pot bị ẩm nát trong giai đoạn sầm lấp thì bằng mũi cư cả bằng cả đam miên sừng kìm xì vơ đôi chia bằng cả một tiêm cho đám mùi tiết cư bằng cả rót hà rót bà hà nâng thì trong cái đó cư cả liên biên đôi dự thi đôi đã thua là nơi chơi cô sáu vật kỷ nick chi vị thi xa để khi nhom ban nơi rộng khơi hay khi nhom nâng lược nơi sầm răng đôi chia sẽ đầy màu bằng hàng sầm mặc còn có ba tuần, ba tuần là lục đại chậm đến, thậm chí mình vì nó một đang 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 rập rập bên ní. Merci Monsieur le Président, un problème dans la méthode me semble-t-il. Notre confrère a trouvé huit méthodes dans l'ouvrage de Maurice. Pourquoi ne cite-t-il pas systématiquement les passages auxquels il fait référence pour que l'expert ສວ່າງບັນຫານໃນក្នុងສຸພາຍຂອງຊົມຈອມຕາມດອງໃນຕົ້ນເປັນຄະສົງຄະດີຄົນຄູຊົມເຮົາໃຫ້ມີສະເ
ที่กระทำเลยทางจนแคมบอดีนคอมมิวนิสต์จนกรมเมืองเกาหลีจีนจะเป็นการเชื่อบกโก้ได้อาจมีลัทธิเพียบกรุบกรุบปะกรมในการเชื่อสมนุวสมบูรณ์ในตำบลมวยมวยซอนซอนตุ่มเปอร์ปีใบลูกบอลในเย่าเขียนสมดสันต์เจตนาคลังคลาดบอลเวียดนามขนกาคลุกคลุกที่เตรียมกำบิดเชียร์แต่ลูกมินได้ยังไม่ได้ลูกจะใส่ถ้าเจตนาดอกคลังคลาดบอลเวียดนามขนกาคลุกคลุกที่เตรียมกำบิดเชียร์ Well, I mean, uh, the, the two methods that I've just referred to, the liaison committees and the Khmer Viet Minh, as they were called, the Khmer Trans Cambodian Communist, <coughs> made it very clear that uh, Hanoi wanted to control the insurgency. Um, thank you. Um, in uh, the book on page. ไปบุญคือลูกบอลในเย่โดยเจอตอนนี้อินเดียอัฟเตอร์มาร์ทของบุญตัวปีเจจุมเนอไอเกอรีย์ระบบขมายกระห้องในชั้นนำเจสเป
Oui, merci, Monsieur le Président. Je pense qu'il y a un problème à la mesure où le, le livre noir, me semble-t-il, est euh, fondé. Enfin, la plupart de ses sources proviennent de confessions obtenues à S21. Et, euh, comme on l'a déjà eu l'occasion de le dire, ces confessions ont été obtenues sous la torture. That's actually a very interesting observation because that's a subject um, that we will be discussing with the PS, but soon. The, the implication of what you're saying, uh, Judge Van, is that whatever DK ກຳປູເຈຍປະຈຽທະປະໄຕບານຍິຈະສາທາລະນະອັມປີກິດທໍາມະດານຍິຈະສາທາລະນະອັມປີຈັດຕະນາຖືຄຽດຄືວິມ
because of time is um, that the bibliomian cannot we were it's not possible to discuss kinyong kata jeung man ai pe pe sa ampi chetana rko ka phie jeum oh ban te pan tae kinyong kata mian chet mian ka phie jeum rot ta ha bai dong ke chet ko moi chet pe nang chet bai ha kinyong nang pe pe sa ampi ការប្រងធ្វើរដ្ឋប្រហារយុទ្ធជាឆ្នាំចិត្តបំបីក៏ដូចជាការធ្វើរដ្ឋប្រហារនយោបាយឆ្នាំចិត្តបំបីឥ
yes, Kumai, you're in 0019 and French 0027 He says the following The Soviets were also kept informed of Vietnamese moves against the Pol Pot regime. In November 1977, a Soviet diplomat in Hanoi invited to an Indian colleague that an anti-Pol Pot resistance uh, was in the making. It consisted of a group of 10 to 15 central level leaders, at least three of whom were old members of the Vietnamese-led ICP. Um, these preparations which uh, uh, presumably already started at least in November 77. Is that something that you uh, came across during your research in the Soviet archives? I came across it. Juste pour les besoins du transcript, uh, Maître Pé, est-ce que vous pouvez nous dire si, par hasard, vous auriez les noms des officiels vietnamiens auxquels se réfère Chanda, le nom du diplomate soviétique ou le nom du diplomate now that is a very interesting question, Judge Laverne. That's one of the reasons why we would like to have Mayan Chanda testify here in court. Um, I'm not sure as a journalist who would reveal his sources. But can you just answer the question? Can you give the names or can't you? And if you can't, tell us why. Because Mayan Chanda doesn't uh, disclose his sources. Um, he does um, actually um, refer in, his, in the first um, footnote to uh, something called the Kampuchea dossier. This is a French uh, book uh, that he refers to quite often, um, but that's not the case well, so I'm not able to, uh, to, uh, to refer to this. And who the Indian government was in the Soviet I don't know. So, um, Mr. Morris, um, have you encountered in your in your research in the Soviet archives any similar um, things? Uh, what I encountered was um, evidence of uh, attempted uh, insurgency, but not uh, necessarily of a coup d'etat. The concept of a coup d'etat was not something that I came across uh, in, my, um, in my research. Again, that's not to say that such things did not occur. I can only say what I saw, what I read, uh, and I did not read about uh, attempted coup d'etat. I did read about attempted insurgencies against the government of Democratic Country. Well, I'm not sure if, if you correct, and that's also the reason why I gave you uh, the excerpt um, your dissertation yesterday, uh, and I hope you had a chance uh, to have a look at this. Let me repeat the English here, and again, uh, Mr. President, 0133519. This is what you wrote in your dissertation. According to a major from the National Army of Democratic Kampuchea, who had defected to China in September, Heng Samrin had attempted a coup against the government in Phnom Penh the previous April. However, the second in command of Heng Samrin's 4th Division, based at Kampung Chan, warned the government and the plot was crushed. So it, 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 it seems that you do speak about uh, a 
Uh, your previous question had asked me, did I find evidence in Soviet archives of a coup, in my reading of the Soviet archives? And my answer to that is, as I stated, no, I didn't find evidence in Soviet archives. Uh, the evidence you cited is from my dissertation is not from Soviet archives. I, I apologize. Uh, that's uh, absolutely correct. Um, before I move to the mid-February 78 Polo meeting, let me just follow up a bit on... Um, this excerpt, uh, are you in a position to tell us uh, who the major was that affected to Thailand who said that Aung San Suu had attempted a coup against the government in Phnom Penh the previous year? Uh, no, I'm not in a position to tell you simply because I do not know. I reported everything that came in an AFP report. Uh, 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 from uh, Hong Kong in December of 1978, um, but I, I, I think I revealed everything that was in the report of substance. Uh, I, I do not have any knowledge of who the major was. Uh, maybe it's because of us, but we weren't able to, to locate this um, AFP report. Um, one question, um, you referred to uh, the previous April. Now, is that April 78 or is that the April in 77? Um, I think it was April 1978. That would make uh, that, that would make sense. That would make sense. Um, and final question, uh, the second in command um, of Heng Samin's fourth division, do you know whether he was mentioned by name in um, the underlying source? I doubt that he was mentioned by name because I think I would have uh, I would have reported his name in the in the dissertation. ដល់សាក្សីជំនាញរូបនេះនៅក្នុងលុងពេលជុំរាក់នឹងឲ្យជួយគាត់មកកាន់កន្លែងផ្ដល់សហកម្មក្នុងពេលជុំរាក់ន